So now, Rangers manager Chris Woodward joins us in. Uh, first of all, thanks for the time, Chris. We appreciate it. Awesome. And Glad let's start with this. Something that you said after you addressed the full team at the very beginning of spring. Here's what you said. I want, to, I want you to hear the quote again. I just need them to know that we're all part of getting better together. I want them to know it's about them. A couple of weeks in, how has your message been received? Um, I, I couldn't be happier, honestly. The the group that we have here, it's it's it's. I've said it many times. It's a tremendous group, you know, with the staff that we have here, uh, the things that I've that we've witnessed so far, you know, the the growth already just in their work and you know on the field, off the field kind of thing. It's I couldn't be happier. Like, Make, making it about them, Chris. What does that look like now that y'all are playing baseball? Um, it's about them. I mean, it's, it honestly like everything we do revolves mm-hmm. around helping them get better. You know what I mean? Like uh, whether it's, you know, cage work or, you know, when we talk about things that they do on the field, you know, now we have games to, to show some results, I guess, to show us, you know, we talk about process all the time and now they're actually doing things on the field so that way we can actually evaluate them and give them instruction that we're looking to, to help them with. All right. I don't think we could tell your story without mentioning Tom Quinley. He was your youth and high school coach and he turned out to be kind of like a father figure. What, what did Coach Quinley mean to you? Um, he, he, like you just said it just best right there. Um, you know, my mom and dad had some things going on and he basically was, you know, he took over that father kind of role for me, which he did with many other players around my area. So, I mean, he took me everywhere. He, he threw me batting practice every day, hit me ground balls every day. He took me on, you know, trips. You know, he took me to Camden Yards. I was a big Oriole fan growing up. He took me to Camden Yards for three games. Like just basically did everything he could to make me successful. And, and, I, and I can't thank him enough for that. I saw the moving tribute. It was a video tribute that you made uh, for his funeral. And in it, you said that you'll make sure that his legacy lives on. How do you go about doing that? I, every day. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he was, you know, he's a special person. And, and anybody that grew up in my area knows of him, knows him. Uh, actually, Michael Young got to play, you know, for a game, a couple games for him with me. So, I mean, his impact will live long as long as I'm here. And then, you know, I'll spread that message to the guys below me and keep it moving forward. Uh, are there things about his style that you emulate now that you're a manager? Um, yeah, I think so. I think it's just honestly the care. You know, we have different, uh, I guess, personalities, but just the, the, the care that he showed for every player that he came across, you know, r- people remember. Like, I talk to people that are, you know, 20 years older than I am, and they remember just like I remember. So it, that impact is, is pretty special, and it, and, it's, and it goes throughout. Everybody knows his name in that area. All right, it's a really cool story, and uh, we want to quicken things up. We want to quicken up the pace a little bit now. I like to call this the one-minute drill. Okay. i got a couple curveballs, maybe a change-up or two for you, but uh, here we go. Now, I can't see if the clock works correctly, folks, so ho- hopefully though, that's working back at, at the studio. So let's get a minute on the clock, and here we go. Chris Woodward on the one-minute drill. Your favorite car to drive? Mustang. Favorite restaurant in Dallas so far? Nick and Sam's. <laughs> you had a 12-year major league career. What other pro sport would you have liked to have played? Basketball. Favorite subject in school? Math. As a kid, your favorite baseball player? Cal Ripken. As a major leaguer, your favorite park? Boston. Fenway. Of course. Best advice Coach Quinley ever gave you? Never give up. Your worst, I'm sorry, your worst phobia? Drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Which do you prefer, cats or dogs? Dogs. Vanilla, chocolate? Chocolate. Morning person or night? Night. Barbecue or seafood? Barbecue. Childhood nickname? Woody. Favorite TV show? Ooh, I... Favorite TV show? <laughs> you got me. All right. It. Other than you Christmas, got... your favorite holiday? Uh, we'll go with Thanksgiving. The sporting event you'd most like to attend as a fan? Uh, the NBA Finals. All right, there you go. There he is, Chris Woodward on the one-minute drill. Well done. Only stumped once. That's pretty oh, good for the drill. Now, uh, before we let you go, we want to have a little more fun. There's one other thing, folks, that you've got to know about Chris Woodward. Check this out. Wow, wow. those girls really knocked that one out of the park. Yeah. Next up, bat, we got the downtown Sasquatch. There it is. Who knew? How on earth does Chris Woodward end up on the Canadian coming-of-age teen drama Degrassi? I lived in Toronto at the time, and it's filmed in Toronto. I was the only player that played for the Blue Jays that lived in Toronto, so 
They asked me if I'd do it. I got to meet Drake, man. What, what do you know? <laughs> that was my next question. Yeah. So you did get to meet yeah. Drake. Yes, of Absolutely. course, Drake starred on that show as well. So is that it for the acting career, or is that something you go back to when your managing days are done? Chris? She watched it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when you'll see. What it done. All right, Chris, we appreciate it. Great stuff. Thank you, Joe. And appreciate good luck this season. Thank you.